After years of unrest and upheaval, the war between Nagorno-Karabakh and Azerbaijan is finally over. The devastated region announcing today it will dissolve and cease to exist by the new year, now under Azerbaijani control. The announcement coming after more than 70,000 ethnic Armenians have fled their homeland in recent days, more than half the population, and more appear to be en route. I have a wife, three children, a son-in-law, and three grandchildren, this man said. I don't know where they are now. We left everything behind. Azerbaijan has said there's no reason for Armenians to flee, claiming there's a future for them in the region. But many Armenians share stories of persecution, ethnic cleansing, and days of fierce Azerbaijani attacks. This woman described violent fighting, saying, we weren't able to go outside or make something to eat. We were staying in the basements. How can I live with them? My sister's child was killed. Many of my relatives were killed. And just hours after the war ended, the Azerbaijanis arrested the former head of Nagorno-Karabakh's administration as he tried to cross into Armenia. For many, it's one of the most dangerous parts of the journey, Azerbaijani checkpoints all along the road to Armenia. Azerbaijan says they're looking for terrorists. Armenians fear they're looking for retribution. A lot of people are just terrified when they arrive at those checkpoints, um, especially men, because they have to get out of the cars and go like a separate way, and they're more checked than, for example, women and children. Nagorno-Karabakh's disillusion even sparked violence miles away in Lebanon as Lebanese Armenians protested the region coming under Azerbaijani control. While many have accepted that Nagorno-Karabakh has finished as an independent Armenian nation, some are increasingly fearful the region will no longer have any Armenians at all. Some people were saying if this continues like this, at the end of the week, by the end of the week, there just will be no more Armenians left there. As this years-long war finally comes to an end, Armenians' long and dangerous journey is only just beginning. Matt Bradley, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.